back to another episode of the 7X Bookshelf, and today we're talking about physical security. I have a special guest, Bryce Self, and Bryce is also a physical security expert, but we have different strategies, and uh, you know, talking to him, I thought it would be interesting to kind of do a 2022 edition of what's in my pen testing physical toolkit. So Bryce, welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much. You said special guest, and I, you know, I don't... I don't buy it, but um, I, I'm, I'm a guest nonetheless, and I'm happy to be here. So Nice. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Um, so, yeah, I thought uh, one thing I thought was kind of interesting is that you and I are both physical pen testers, but we kind of approach it differently. So, you know, I tend to be more on the gadgets and the tech side. You tend to be more on the, um, I guess, more on the social engineering side. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, I, you know, I have an interesting background. Uh, you know, part of it, I guess, uh, it kind of started with uh, my dad being a sales guy, and he was just like had the gift of gab, and I think I got that. So, um, you know, through through kind of my training, um, you know, uh, through the military and three letter agency and that kind of thing, um, you know, I just uh, I, I love people and kind of interacting with them and seeing what you know what makes them tick, what makes them happy and sad, and not. You know all that fun stuff. So um, uh, manipulating people, I guess, uh, is is uh, fun, but obviously only during the job, right? Not 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 in real life, but especially um, you know I don't use any of my tricks, uh, um, you know, against my wife or anything. <laughs> Maybe once to, to you know get her interested, but other than that, so right. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So I just uh, yeah I, I love the social engineering side. I mean, obviously, you know, got got to learn some of the some the tool stuff but um yeah i think it's just a passion of just uh you know helping people and um and, and talking with people so yeah right on and i know we kind of both have gigs coming up here pretty soon and uh so as we're packing our gear up i thought you know today was kind of a, a good time to unpack that stuff so um I, I mean i can go first you can go first tell me oh yeah I, by all means <laughs> All right, cool. So um, let's get a camera. We got a couple of camera angles working here today, guys. So uh, bear with us. And um, this is my physical testing kit. You may have seen this in some of our other videos. Let me get you a better angle here. Um, very light, very small. This is obviously something that uh, kind of works as a sling bag and has a lot of exterior pockets that I use to kind of get in and out of things quickly. And the goal for me, right, because I, I tend to go in under, you know, under the cover of night and in the darkness. And so having things readily accessible, kind of always in the same place, um, you know, it, it really does help me kind of, you know, get my bearings when I'm, I'm inside and I'm also uh, not weighing myself down. So if we look at kind of the exterior pocket here, you know, and I'll, I'll just kind of lay everything out. I mean, that looks like a red team bag right there. <laughs> well, it's red. It's That's right. <laughs> kind of. um, so we'll just unpack this whole pocket here. It's either, like, if I saw I'd be like, you know what, that guy, and obviously, you know, my trained eye, but I'd be like, hey, he's either breaking into this place um, or he's a medic, which I think <laughs> both, both, you know, uh, uh, suit you, so. Right, right, exactly. Um and I probably do have some first aid stuff in the, in that bag somewhere. So, uh, but yeah, so kind of looking here, let's see. Um, this is my kind of down and dirty pick set. Um, has all of my top of the keyway tension tools, all my bottom of the keyway tension tools, and then probably the, you know, five or six most common picks that I like to use. And then the other thing that's kind of neat about this one is, and Bryce, I know the camera is not great for you, but you can kind of see. Oh yeah, um, you know what's cool about this is that it has this glow in the dark or kind of neon background to it, so you can actually see in the dark which pick you're grabbing, um, you know, for for which lock. So I definitely like this thing. Um, and then in the back, I've got a few other ones like the uh, the snake pick from uh, or the dragon pick from um, Sparrow. So. Kind of a cool, you know, midnight black ops type of uh, lock picks. Um, obviously, my my jigglers or my warded picks rather um, for getting into, uh, you know, some uh, warded locks. And then roll of film, right? Obviously, we've we've all kind of seen this one, but this is uh, kind of great for going in under uh, or over the top of a door. So kind of works the opposite way of the under the door tool. This is designed to go over the door and then it 
kind of fish hooks the uh, the door handle and pulls up. So I've actually run into a few instances where that doesn't work because the door doesn't allow itself to open upwards. So it's kind of interesting. <coughs> um, just the flashlight because again, you know, I work a lot at night, so having uh, having a quick little pen light to just see what you're doing, and then. <coughs> Finally, in that top pack is my uh, my shove it tool or my my quick opener for uh, for most doors that uh, that you can bypass the latch on. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good one. I think that um, I definitely think this one is you know it's easy to find in the dark. It's rubberized, so it has a good grip to it. Um, some of the other ones I have, like the one I carry in my wallet, doesn't uh, doesn't lend itself to you know. It's not the easiest thing to use. This is definitely a, a better one, or at least I like it. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. Um, you know, because I, I guess just for everyone, you know, watching Matt and I, this I mean, like he said, this is the first time I was like, hey man, I want to see what's in your kid, and he was like, hey, let's see what's in your kid, and you know, kind of compare and contrast, and um, you know, just just based on the kind of uh, physical entries that you do versus the ones that I do. Um, you know, they, already I'm seeing differences in our kits, you know, because, you know, you're, you're going in at night and, and, you know, you're trying to go quick and, 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 and make things happen. And um, a lot of times with mine, um, you know, because I'm doing 24, uh, 24 by 7 uh, secure, like manned uh, places, a lot of federal, you know, federal secured uh, places and, and that kind of thing. So as far as the bag is concerned, um, I, I, I usually just carry like a book bag because most people, especially in big cities, um, they're, they're carrying book bags, you know, to carry their laptop and anything else. So it, it doesn't really stand out uh, too much. Um, and then I just shove basically all that stuff and kind of tuck it in corners and, and cracks and crevices and then like load a, a jacket on top or, or, you know, hide them in, in some sort of way. So if I get the old like, you know, hey, just let me look in your bag, you know, real quick. Um, they, they won't see anything, hopefully, right? Especially that, like, that, you know, can of compressed air. So um, so I got this one. Um, it is just a filled with a bunch of crap, obviously. So I got, you know, your standard your standard keys here. Um, let's see. So a, a, just a super small lockpick set. Um, you just got your tension, your tension rod there, a couple picks um, inside there. Super small. Um, right. Same, same kind of deal here, but just a little bit, a little bit slimmer. Um, I think I got this one at a, uh, I guess I can move this stuff to the side here. I, I got this one at like some, some, uh, con conference, I guess, some security conference. Yeah. And, uh, I love this actually. And I actually, um, so I was in a, a training course. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so I was in a, a train a training course uh, in the in the military, and um, I actually um, had to well uh, not, not get into too much detail, but I, I I didn't know one of these things existed. Let's put it that way. And I was just trying to kind of figure out like how to do this, and I just came up with this idea on my own um, uh, with uh, some Kevlar string and then a, a like old hotel key that I had. And ended up doing this so I could like slip the lock. Nice. And I was like, man, I was like, dude, I am the smartest guy ever. I was like, no one has ever thought about this. And then I like, go to a conference. They're like, oh, yeah, man, here you go. They're metal. Like, yeah. it's like, oh, cool. Thanks, man. This so our business card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's um, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, same deal here. Yep. Um, these shims. Um, so love these shims, right, to get into. I guess I can get on the back of the hand there so um you know sl slipping uh, master locks right just sneaking up in there or the the spin dial rather sneak up in there lifting up the um i guess the uh i'm not as technical uh, as matt with uh, with the locks and everything I, yeah i call everything thing majiggies or um whatever it is but um this is this has uh, gotten me into many many locks especially especially with um iron Ma uh, iron mountain uh, bins where everyone tosses, you know, sensitive papers um, that no one wants to see and, uh, you know, filled with papers. And I want to see if there's any passwords and uh, uh, network diagrams and all that fun stuff. So, um, you know, gotten into several bins with that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just a, you know, a cheap standard uh, pick set. Um, usually use, um, gosh, any, honestly, I just kind of grab one and just see what happens. Um Let's see the other side. Yeah, kind of same thing. You got your uh, your your dual pin set up. Um, so nothing too crazy, but I just kind of load it. Um, you know, load it with all kinds of kinds of stuff. 
So yeah, you've got the you've got like the whole kit there. Like I carry those six or seven, you know, that I use all the time, and then everything for all the other specialty stuff is out in the truck, which you know I guess could can be a good thing and a bad thing. But if you uh, <laughs> you know, because it's always when you need it that you don't have it. So yeah, just moving right along, we'll see what uh see what else is here. We've got uh, so the the front pouch here. I've got a whole bunch of kind of random goodies. Uh, lay all this stuff out here. All right. Always have gum with me, right? Because um, you know why not? Sometimes you're sometimes you're in a place for a long time, and you're like, oh, I really wouldn't mind having you know having a snack. This is awesome. Flat pack gaff tape. You can get this over on Red Team Tools. This is amazing. I. I have a million and one uses, uh, whether it's covering cameras. I mean, I actually climb up on, you know, a fence and throw this right over the front of their camera and blind them while we're, while we're going in. Um, I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy. Um, I have a... You know, if I can pause you for a second, the, yeah. the gum thing, right? So just another reason, like, we're different, right? So, um, you know, you're like, hey, if I get hungry or, you know, my breath, <laughs> you know, my breath or whatever... Um, you know, I use gum. Uh, I, don't, you know, I don't have any on me, but, um, you know, gum, uh, pack of smokes, anything like that. I don't smoke. Right. But um, but if I see smokers outside. Right. It's a it's a way to um, to initiate a conversation right. with someone. Right. Um, or, or, you know, or, you know, hey, have a smoke. Right. Or, or a lighter, at least. And then, hey, can I bum a smoke? Right. Um, or do you want to stick a gum? And it's just to kind of initiate that conversation and Build offering some somebody something. And yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, what else do we have in the front pack? Uh, these C shims, right? So, uh, and they're cheap. They're Sparrow's products too, so I always carry a couple of those. Actually, I think one of these I got for my sister, who's also a pen tester. And uh, oh, get out! Never, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I never gave them to her, so sorry, Sarah. Uh, antibacterial wipe because you know COVID. Um, I also have this. Uh, I had this made. I actually got this made at DefCon years ago. Um, and it's from, I, NCOM is one of those, you know, kind of fake companies from the movies. And, yeah. uh, um, but this badge looks official and I've kind of put it through, you know, put it through its paces. So, um, that's, that's been pretty fun, pretty useful. You and I were talking kind of before the show about, uh, the padlock shims. Mm -hmm. So I got always carry a few of those in the front. Um, just carry a letter, you know, I, I keep my get out of jail free card and, and a few other things always tucked in. So this is actually from a uh, previous job. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should have prefaced with that. It's like, Hey, all, all this, that, you know, if you don't have permission doing this, it's super illegal, exactly. but yeah, I think, that, I mean, that's definitely, I mean, that is the most important thing that, you know, you and I carry is that get out of jail letter It's like, right. Hey, here's my permission slip to say, you know, I'm allowed to do this, like legally, the, the company, the client's paying us to do this, um, and please do not arrest me, right? So. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, any guess what this is? Uh, mag tape, right? Yes, yes, magnetic tape. You'd be surprised, like, you know, a lot of times you can find it, if you're going in at night and, and alarm systems or something to, to worry about, having a, having a roll of magnet, uh, adhesive magnet, uh, can be pretty useful for bypassing some of those contact sensors. So, um, again, it's my second roll of this. So I've got uh, got that right in the front compartment too. What do you got? What uh, we'll flip over and well, see what's um, in your bag. I, I just like to pick your stuff apart because um, <laughs> I like to pick on you and 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 I pick on people that I like. Um, so the uh, so the badges I'll do open source intelligence. See kind of what um, what. Uh, ISV, Internet Service Provider, they have, um, if I can find that, right? A lot of times um, buildings will sometimes on certain websites, like, you know, be, be forthcoming with that. Um, sometimes the uh, you can call them up and like a front desk person will be forthcoming with that, especially if they have like a space uh, for lease, like inside the building, yep. right? Yep. And you say, hey, what kind of Internet is it, right? I'm a potential business and I need to know and, you know, that kind of thing. They'll say, yeah, it's, you know, uh, whoever, right? Yep. Not trying to name any companies. Um, uh, and uh, just because, you know, so I will, um, you know, take a, a badge, uh, a, um, a badge printer and then and then, yeah, uh, do whatever company, X company and, right. then, uh, and then make it look legit and, and try to find 
um, obviously online, like, hey, what this uh, ISP's badges look like, um, and uh, and then just turn them into templates, and then now I just, you know, give right. them all, to all my guys, and hey, look legit, right? Oh, you know, in, a, in your badge holder, right? And, um, oh, man. They... It's so funny, Brandon, because, like, you, you do what I do, but for totally different reasons, right? You're yeah. calling the building to say, hey, um, what ISP am I going to get if I'm, if I'm renting space there? I'm calling them to say, hey, I'm a, you know, I'm representing a local bank and they have, you know, over, you know, offshore interest. They deal with Tokyo. So they're on a completely different time zone. They're there late at night. What's the security look like? Are my people going to be safe? Right? So I'm like probing for totally different information, but we're both making that same phone call. So I just thought that was really interesting. Yeah, no, absolutely. That, that, hey, I love it. I love yeah. it. So what else you got? What's uh what's what else is in the oh, bag? Oh, I guess the shims, right? So the shims, I um I should I should buy some of those, but you know, I I got taught kind of a a cool trick is is you grab a um a soda can. Yep. And then and then just kind of the same thing, right? Uh cut cut it up and and roll it up a little bit so it's a little sturdy and then you know, same approach, but um, I will that, say the soda can that. ones, the, the soda can ones are better. In my opinion, they're not as thick. The, the sparrows mm-hmm. ones are pretty thick and they're hard to get into padlocks. So you really need okay. like a weak and loose one. I, I'd still keep making them. Tubular lock pick. Oh yeah. One of these? Oh yeah. I, I think I got one of those in there somewhere. So yeah, this thing's Actually, pretty cool. I think I got mine in the same. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep the instructions on you, right? Just in case you, um, <laughs> yeah, you forget how to do it. But um, the, yeah, I mean, um, you know, this this one I think is versatile. Yeah, so it can do seven and eight pen. Um, obviously, it's a it's a perishable skill if uh, if you're not keeping up. So uh, before or before my next uh, my next stop here, I'm gonna have to you know do some lock picking and uh, and, and some training and all that. Um, you know myself. Um, to make sure I'm good. So yeah, just in case you come, you know, come across another kind of lock there. I got this a couple of cool things here. Um, so this guy, I know, I know you know what this is, thumb right? Thumb turner, yeah, 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 the thumb turner, yeah. So um, this this got me into a building one time, right? So uh, kind of um, uh, slip it inside in the middle of t- uh, double doors, and then um, and then the lock that's usually about I don't know thigh high oh yeah yours is like serious duty <laughs> yeah. dang look at that thing um so i had, i should have made a joke but i won't um <laughs> so but uh but this one yeah so you know thigh high it's like a lock um you know you slip it in um and then and then turn that lock however you want to right just control them from that knob there um yep. this actually um could also i used to um uh, trigger a crash bar yeah. from the inside yeah, so it's kind of same thing, right? Especially if you like undo the lock, but then there's obviously like the the other, I guess, Allen Allen key lock, you know, to to uh, prevent it from where you have you can go right. out, right? And that that's the whole thing, right? Is um, because these buildings have um, safety measures in place, um, you know, fire fire code, that kind of thing. Um, people have to obviously get out of the building um, should an emergency happen. And, and that's all, you know, that's all that's kind of going on. And I think in our heads is like, hey, how do people get out of this door? Um, because that's how I want to get into it. Right. Um, but yeah, so this thing as well, yeah, has doubled uh, for me before where i um, be able to just kind of pull like a um, double door. Tool. Yeah, Yep. exactly. Nice. So, um, and then uh, was the, the traveler hook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is a little bit longer one. Um, I think I want the shorter one. Yeah, make sure it's good on camera. But um, yeah, it's the longer one. Um, I, I think I've used this, you know, maybe maybe once or twice. Um, you know, like I said, and, and kind of like what what Matt was saying is that um, a lot of times I actually don't use any of these tools. Like my tools, um, and I think that's why I just don't have too many of them. Is is because you know I, I've gotten in every single time, and 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 ninety five percent of the time it's just because i'm talking someone yep. into it right you know on. um and and they give me a badge right so i usually don't have to all right let's move along let's see what else we got here i got the uh let's get the old bag again so I do have one more pocket on the outside it's actually on the the back part of where the uh the body strap is and this has stuff that i kind of use often but not that often all right, so 
All right, so this is the uh, the Peterson lock pick set. If you've ever seen the, the Peterson picks, um, kind of new. Uh, again, my sister actually got me this one for Christmas. I was pretty excited about. Um, I, I like that they make a thinner version because you can actually decode the master lock padlock uh, with these guys uh, on the 15 thousandths thickness. So really looking forward. I actually did use these back on, uh, I did a physical on Martin Luther King Day because I knew every, like everybody would be gone. Um, and I decoded a, a master lock with that. You know, it's funny you bring that up. The uh, uh, You're strategic on what day you actually go in based on a holiday, right? Because no one's going to be there. Right. Um, I do the same thing, uh, especially, you know, because I do a lot of big cities. Um, so I always check the local sports. Um, oh. You know, if, yeah, if, if someone, you know, the, the home team, you know, whoever it is, is, is playing that night. Um, most likely they're trying to get out early, right, to either go to the game or host some kind of party right. uh, to watch the game or, or get ready for, you know, it's game day, right? No one wants yep. to be at work late at night. Um, so, you know, likelihood of, of anyone being uh, inside the building late at night on a game day um, is, I, I, you know, I think slimmer than, than the, the average day. So No, yeah, no, that's a good point. You mentioned earlier about um, picking locks. And on every floor, and I can't tell you how many times I've picked a lock and picked it in the wrong direction. So now I have a plug spinner for exactly <laughs> that because I don't pick once, man. Um, so basically, if you don't know, it's a spring loaded tool that if you pick the lock in the wrong direction, you keep it inserted or you keep it twisted that far, remove your tools, stick the plug spinner in there, it's spring loaded, you push the button and it snaps the plug fast enough to go past the keyway or i'm sorry past the the bibles and doesn't let the the pins reset so it actually effectively makes it go the other way um so yeah this is a, a clutch one to have um Love it. let's see you got, a, you got anything else quick and handy yeah i can um i can throw a couple things in here so um uh so we were talking about just kind of uh i guess different items right and i'm um, just you know uh you, you brought up your your, your flash plate, right so I, I got a little little flashlight as well yeah um this one's great because uh, um you can be a headlamp too so this little clip comes off you flip around and then stick it on your visor which is great so you can go hands-free if you need to um but but the best part is is i yeah there you go the headlamp um the best the best part is, is I use this actually for like a cover, a cover for action, right? So um, just the difference there for anyone that doesn't know, cover for action, cover for status. Um, status is the overall reason you are in the building, right? So I am a contractor or I am an employee or whoever I'm trying to be and the, and the reason I'm there. And then a cover for action is little covers of why you're doing things, right? So why are you going into the bathroom? It's to use the restroom, right? Why are you sitting at your desk? It's to go to work. Um, so if I'm plugging in a thumb drive um, behind, you know, someone's computer right. and for whatever reason that person may walk up, I need to have a reason why I'm behind that person's computer. Yep. Yep. Um, so a good one is is either, right, so wedding band, uh, if you're not married, you know, throw, throw a ring on, get a ring, um, you know, throw it behind when no one's looking where you're, where you're trying to oh. plug something in. Um, and then that way you can do your thing and then pick it up at the end. Um, I love throwing the flashlight though, because, um, or at least having it in my hand rather, um, because that way, if someone's like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I dropped my flashlight. And that's why I was down there so long because I don't have a light to find it. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart. Nice. So. so done all the exterior compartments. I also keep on here. This is the magnet on a string, which is a, uh, um, these, you ever seen mm. one of these? Mm -mm. So kind of a cool concept. Um, actually picked this up from a former colleague, uh, but basically, take this off. So if you do need, this is your this goes into your social engineering toolkit. Um, so this is basically just a bunch of magnets, right? Um, let me get, a, get that to focus a little bit. There we go. So these are basically just a bunch of magnets on a rubber string. And the idea is that if you get up to a door, you need to tailgate through that door. This can be your tailgater. 
you put this up on the frame of the door, it's magnetic, right? So it's gotta be a metal frame door for it to work, but it just sits up there. When, when the door opens, oh, there it goes. When the door opens, the tail falls down between the door and the frame and the door closes and it sits kind of ajar. And that lets you go in, not right behind them, but behind them enough that they don't get suspicious. Right, absolutely. Is that string? Is it is it rubber? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the yeah. whole thing was made. Um, the whole thing was made over at uh, at Home Depot for a, about three bucks. So, yeah. kind, of, kind of a cool tool. You came up with that? I did not. No, uh, actually, a former uh, former colleague of mine did. I saw okay. it used. It was actually used on my very first physical engagement. So I have always had one in one form or fashion uh, with me. I love that. Yeah, I gotta add that to mine. I definitely have to add that to mine. That's all. See, I love that kind of stuff, especially if something that's like, hey, you can just make it, um, yeah. you know, make it make it on the fly. Or, um, you know, I love using, um, um, you know, my my surroundings, uh, anything I can find right around me. Um, you know, I was, I was telling Matt earlier, anytime I need to print out those fake documents, right, the hotel I'm staying at, you know, the business center or FedEx, I'm printing stuff off. I always stop by Staples or um, office max or whatever, you know, wherever I can find to get some compressed air while I'm there. Right. Yep. Cause I don't need to throw that in my bag. I don't need to travel with that. You can't you fly can with it. Find it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. No, see, it's so funny cause there's so many things that are the same, but like just the slightest little bit different. Um, but it's cool that they both work. Right. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, so we got the, the boroscope. Um, uh, you'll recognize this one. So this is your, uh, your long strum tool plus uh, plus a metal pry pick. Um, talk about the tubular tubular pick, the keysy for uh, cloning RFIDs, quick and easy. Uh, a tubular lock to practice mm. your tubular lock with because yep. it is a perishable skill. <laughs> That's right. Um, I do also carry my pen testing keys. I don't have them in this bag. I was using them on a different engagement. But to your point about keeping the instructions, I always keep the instructions to the pen testing keys, which key is what. You know, because sometimes you need a little extra reading when you're just sitting <laughs> in a closet. just want to memorize something, yeah. <laughs> Got my, my uh, thumb turner as well. Um, and I, I keep the smaller version of the Traveler's Hook. This one fits in my pocket, so if I, you know, if there's small doors that don't have tamper plates on them, I keep that there. Um, you just ruin your jeans? Yeah, I mean, I have yeah. so many holes in my jeans. <laughs> um, and then I keep a whole assortment of plastic shims, you know, varying thicknesses, the, the mica ones from Lock Monster. Yeah, Master. I got them. I yep. got them. No need to show them. Yeah. <laughs> Those, let's see what else is in here. Oh, here you go. The the air bladder from, yes. uh, from Sparrows. In case you need to uh, do a little uh, door separation. This is, you know, obviously not needed when you have a second person, but when you're on a one-man team and you need somebody to hold a door for you. <laughs> let's see what else we got in here. Um, charging cord for the boroscope. And, oh, boy. Getting in, getting down into the very very little last little bit here. All right, I think I think these these few are gonna be it. Um, yep. All right, we're done with the bag. Different tips for the boroscope. So if you have different, uh, you know, uh, need different angles, wide angle, and things like that, you can kind of see around corners. That helps keep it stiff at the tip too. No, just ignore that. Um, this is the magnetic pole detector for detecting uh, where the contact sensor is on an alarm. So obviously they're magnetic. Um, stiffer version of the uh, shove it tool, just in case you need something with a little bit more leverage. Dude, I have to get that because sometimes, I mean, I got small hands anyways, right? So I'm like, <laughs> I make do with some small, some small tools, but um, yeah, sometimes yeah. I'm like trying to do with the one I have, I'm like, man, it would just be nice to have a nice big hand. A little bit there, of leverage so. goes a long way. That's it. Yeah. So, um, and I, I told you, man, this, this flat pack gaff tape, I cannot stress. Like I keep so many rolls of it. Um, and then, uh, Light light stick, right? The uh, snap and snap and glow stick. 
Okay, interesting. So, interesting story behind this. The, the reason that I keep one of these with me is because you might be in a situation where you get stuck somewhere and you need some sort of either A, light, or B, need to signal for help. Um, consider, and this isn't a great example, but think about an elevator, right? We break mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, you get into the elevator to go to a restricted floor, or you're on a restricted floor when you get in the elevator and you need a badge to go somewhere, and the elevator doesn't respond to you when you're inside the, the hoistway, right? Yep. So what do, you, there. what do you do if you're stuck in the elevator? <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, hopefully you have cell phone service. But yeah. But anyway, if you're stuck somewhere where a light would help, I always keep that. You had actually sent me something on YouTube the other day. I guess the lockpicking lawyer had just uh, talked about the Adam's right tool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I keep one, I keep one of those. That's pretty far down there. If I'm using that thing, it's uh, I'm in the trenches pretty far. And then this is probably my favorite thing i broke it on my last engagement so you can see it's a it's a little bit uh uh out of whack but uh this is the hinge oh, yeah. popper yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah i actually asked about i, I texted to matt um uh gosh not, not too long ago and i was like i was like hey man uh do you do you have any luck with this thing like do you actually use it um because i of course all of my engagements i never come across uh hinges yeah and, uh, at least facing me um, which is great, right? I, I, I'll always applaud my clients for a win. Um, but then Matt's like, yeah, I actually used it last night and uh, broke it. But I got the door <laughs> yeah. open. So I was like, okay, cool. You know? I did. I got the pins out. Um, yeah. It was pretty funny. Hey, man, sometimes those pins, they're, they're, they're a little tricky. Yep, yep. Yeah, this door, well, this door I probably hadn't had the pins removed in 30 years. So, <laughs> like, they were all but rusted shut. Um, and then, oh, the last and the most important thing here that I always carry, and I don't know if this applies to you, but fresh bag of coffee. Okay. Um, big fan of the uh, the filtered soul. If you're uh, if you're into hazelnut coffee at all, that's a that's a great one. Um, my vessel hand crank coffee grinder. Wow. In case you need to need to grind your your beans. And then the arrow press all in one cup slash uh, slash um, pressing agent. So I, okay, so I I love outdoors, right? I love the outdoors, and I think in this job you have to like the outdoors, and you have to be, you know, because you you're going against the elements a lot of times. Um, yep. And uh, but but I, I'm all down for coffee, man, uh, um, especially camping. But what like for a physical engagement? I guess help me out. So, right, we camp out, you know, like this one we're going, uh, we're going down tomorrow, it's a Sunday, and, uh, and we're going to do our recon day one, so we have to sit in the car, or, you know, in the adjacent hotel, or, you know, wherever the case is, and this could be a long time, right, we need to understand that guard rotation schedule, um, yeah. when, I, when I made my pretext call to the building, they said we have a roaming patrol, I don't know what that means. Does that yeah. mean, well, we don't really have security, or does that mean they legitimately have a roving patrol? Um, so, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll find out. But, you know, on a, on a stakeout, that's, uh, that's an essential tool to have in the, in the car. At least well, so how do, you get, how do you get the hot water? I got a kettle. Yeah, electric kettle. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. See, that did. Got I, it all thought I out. Hear that. See, you know, and, and I think it's just one of those things, um, you know, because I've had a couple clients where it's, you know, that you have to. Like their building is out in the middle of nowhere, it, it, sort of, right? And then you have to have a reason to be out there. So the coffee, I think, would make sense. Um, but then, you know, the majority of the time I'm downtown somewhere, so it's like a Starbucks or yeah. Dunkin' Donuts in every corner, right? So, and, and that makes it a little bit easier. But hey, I'm, I'm, I might, I might bring my, uh, my, my AeroPress and, and all that with me on, on my next one. So, <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. I got a couple, a couple fun like social engineering things. Um, and I can just talk about real quick. Um, so, actually, Matt, you you um, have a great video that you recently put out um, about uh, cameras and, and cameras that you use on the job yeah. and, and different ones that you have. Um, you know, I, I, I've done my phone, right, the, the iPhone in the, in the pocket, front pocket. That kind of stands out a little bit, um, but, but it gets the job done sometimes, especially if you're kind of busy, right, and you're just like, oh, and then just kind of you know, pop it in. Um, uh, but the, the uh, camera pen, 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you can still sign with it. It doesn't look too crazy. It's a little bulky, but but it gets the job done. I think someone stole it or I lost it or something. So I don't have it, but, but I, I need to get a new one. It's only like 20, 20, 30 yeah, bucks or something. Yeah, cheap. Um, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's a great one to have. So, um, so yeah, so the social engineering piece, man, and, um, I, I like to stay kind of scruffy like this with a beard. And then I, and then whenever I know I have an engagement, um, you know, happening, happening, my wife doesn't like it too long, but whenever I know there's an engagement coming up, I start growing it out and it's specifically, and it's something that I'm carrying on my body. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, But but it's just a quick, like, Hey, I can go to CVS and grab, you know, uh, a shave kit real quick. Um, you know, jump in a, in a bathroom and then just shave if I need to, uh, do a quick disguise. Right. So, um, so, you know, shaving into like a goatee or just a mustache or a soul patch or just clean shave. And you can do a couple different things. Um, where if you mix it up with the kind of clothes that you have, right? So if you have layers, you could throw this hoodie in your jack or in your uh, backpack, and then you're wearing a different colored shirt at this point. Yep. Um, you know, you you have a hat. You can maybe flip your hat or or put on your hat or take off your hat, right? Um, same thing with glasses, non-prescription glasses. Um, you know, throw throw them on, take them off, however you want to do it, right? As long as you kind of look the part. Um, if I'm playing a, a you know a delivery guy, I'm obviously going to look like a guy that's out in the elements, you know, 24/7 hustling and bustling, um, you know, and, and just trying to get it done. So, um, so yeah. And then also this thing, I never leave without this thing. Like I will have my wife um, uh, overnight ship this if if I forget it. So I got this. Pr- this is a portfolio, right? And it's just your basic, just portfolio right okay. so you know write write my notes and everything keep a pen in here this is where i'll keep keep those fake documents or fake memos um maybe maybe some business cards sorry the camera right here some, some business cards right in here um but this is great because you can you know keep all your documents uh, easily accessible um and and then also i got this for a dollar at a yard sale they're, they're pretty <laughs> cheap to, yeah they're pretty cheap like 10 20 bucks something like that but dollar a yard sale and this thing makes me look like the most professional person in the entire world like this brown leather and i come in with like business casual yep, yep, and yep. there's and i'm and i'm like on the move and i'm just like hey how you doing and i got a badge like showing like i'm a you know yeah. hey i don't want to be be here either right i want to get out of your hair and 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 oh dude this thing right here you know people just i don't know what it is it just makes me look super professional so um, yeah, I love this thing. You know, a lot of people carry the clipboard and yep, clipboard yep. and vest, which I got the clipboard and vest too. Don't get me wrong, but specifically the, the, the approach that I, you know, do with either the contractor or the employee, um, after hours and just trying to act like I belong there and look the right. part. Um, yeah, the, the portfolio is the way to go for me. Yeah, man, definitely. I, I think, um, I think this was kind of cool, right? It was a good chance for me to see kind of how, you know, how your brain works and, and give you insight into how my brain works. And, you know, I, I think we both have kind of a, a whole closet full or a whole truck full of additional things that, that we may want to unpack at some point and, uh, you know, kind of kind of dig into and see what um, see what other stuff is out there, because certainly this is, you know, just a field kit and, and a, you know, what you can carry. And, and by that, I mean what you can wear mostly. Um <laughs> You know, I'm sure you've got a few other things out in the truck and, and um, you know, the other thing I think we do a lot of is wireless is another place where you and I mm-hmm. overlap pretty good. So maybe it'd be cool to, to unpack some of our wireless gear and, and show people what, what 2022 looks like for wireless assessments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been uh, too long inside of a car, like just yeah. Uh, Point, you know, pointing antennas and trying to type and, and navigate yep. with one hand and, and, and while driving and uh, what a mess. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. Cool. Very cool. Well, hey, listen, thank you for uh, thanks for stopping by and doing this virtual sharing. Uh, I, I appreciate you having me. It was, it was, it was awesome. And uh, yeah, def- definitely learned a lot. And, um, you know, uh, definitely, uh, you know, saw, saw some stuff that I'm going to have to add to my ar- arsenal. So. Yeah, definitely. I'll uh, I'll shoot you some links too if you need to uh, need to pick any of that stuff up. Please do. All right, dude. Great chatting with you. I'll uh, I'll catch you around. Sounds good. Thanks, Matt. Don't get caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. <laughs>